Hey guys, hope everyone has been doing well. It's been a rough couple of months with everyone being locked up and stuck at home. But today I have a product that might make your life a little easier and a bit healthier. This is the OHC7000D Water Dispenser by Ovio. A tankless water supply system manufactured from Korea that dispenses instant hot and cold water at a touch of a button. The water goes through a four-stage water filtration system that cleans and purifies your drinking water. This water dispenser is distributed by Stera, so a big thank you to them for sponsoring this unit to me for this review. Now today we'll be going through a couple of things in this review. First of all, we'll go through the installation process. Then we'll go through the overall aesthetics and look of the product. Then going on to the function and operation of this dispenser. And finally, we'll do a water purification test to see how well the filters actually work. So before we begin, here are some very key features of this product. Now first of all, it is a tankless system which means you never have to refill it which makes it very convenient. Now secondly, it is capable of dispensing instant hot and cold water. However, we'll do a test later to find out how hot or how cold the water is from the first drop. Now next up, the dispensing nozzle has a UV sterilizer that can be activated by pushing the nozzle into the unit allowing for the UV sterilization to clean the nozzle. And lastly, the dispenser has a 4-stage filtration system that provides you with clean water right out of the nozzle. So let's start off with the installation of this unit. Now the company Stera distributes and installs these dispensers for you in your home, so there's not much to worry about. Their services were very professional, neat, and took about 20 to 30 minutes depending on the complexity of your water outlet and the position of the dispenser. For my installation, the water supply was tapped from the kitchen tap and the water outlet was plugged into the bottle trap of the sink. These water tubes were routed through my countertop and into the sink cabinet. The full installation was done by Stera and it came out looking really neat. But do take note that the dispenser needs to be a few inches away from the counter hole to allow the pipes to properly bend down through the holes. So moving on, let's talk about the aesthetics of this product. Now this is of course very important for homeowners. The product not only has to function well but also has to look great in your home. Now this unit that I have is the platinum white model but it also comes in a chrome grey model which looks equally great. It has a width of 18cm by a depth of 50cm and a height of 40cm which is pretty large in my opinion. And when I first saw it coming out of the box, I was pretty shocked to find that it was a lot larger than I expected. From the top we have the control panel with touch sensitive buttons to select your water volume, temperature presets and several other indicators which we'll talk about later. On the side compartment, it houses the replaceable filters with a simple snap-on cover. And lastly, on the front, we have the all-important retractable dispenser nozzle with an automatic UV sterilization feature. Now, there was one physical feature that I found pretty odd and that is this mood light. Now, this mood light stays on forever. And yes, I mean it. I actually reached out to the people at Stera and asked them if there was a way to turn this light off and unfortunately there isn't, so it remains on forever. In my opinion, I felt that this was a waste of electricity no matter how small the amount and felt like a functional oversight. Alright, so now that we're done with all the aesthetics and the look of the product, let's talk about the functions and operation of this dispenser. Now of course, at the top you have the control panel which gives you a lot of options and we'll go through it one by one so that you guys can have a good idea of how this works. Now first off, the volume of the water dispense can be controlled by these presets. You have a 120ml, a 250ml and a 550ml. And from this video, you can see how long it takes for each of these to fill up. Now there is also an infinity button so that you can dispense as much as you need and you can start and stop using the dispensing button. Now I should point out that only the 120ml and 250ml settings can be set as a default preset. Now next you have the water temperature presets. You can either have cold water, room temperature water, warm water or hot water. Now the warm and hot water preset buttons are automatically on a child lock for safety and you can unlock these by holding down the hot water preset button for 3 seconds. After the water has been dispensed, it will revert back into the child lock mode automatically. So I took some temperature measurements of each water preset. The cold water peaked at 13.2 degrees Celsius, while the hot water peaked at 80.5 degrees Celsius. As an extra step, I did a first drop test to see the initial temperature from the start of both the hot and cold water presets. 
Although the brand mentions that the first drop of hot water would be hot, it wasn't exactly the peak temperature as compared to when more water was dispensed. Not a big deal but definitely worth noting. Alright, so back to the control panel above. You'll find a filter change indicator that will alert you when the filters need to be changed, a dispenser button that can be used to start and stop the dispensing at any time, and lastly, a waste bottle indicator. Alright, so finally, one of the most asked questions when I was talking about this dispenser was how effective is the filter system? Now, the filter is a four-stage filtration system. The first removes suspended solids such as dust and rust. The second filter removes organic compounds such as chlorine and disinfectants. The third filter removes contaminants and pathogenic bacteria. And the final fourth filter removes remaining gas and chlorine to remove odors and provide a better taste. So I went online to buy a water test kit to see if there was a difference between the water coming out from the tap and the water coming out from the dispenser. You basically did the two different test strips, test strip A and B, into each glass of water and compare it to the chart. Now I know this isn't the most scientific way of testing water, but it's the best I could do. The results were pretty similar and the only noticeable difference was the level of residual chlorine that was reduced through the filters. In my personal opinion, I think the water from the dispenser tastes better, has less chlorine and hardly has any smell. To sum up this whole video, I think this is a worthwhile investment, not only for comfort and convenience but for a healthier way to get drinking water. The unit looks great but I did wish it was a little smaller, but then again that might affect some of the mechanics and the efficiency of the water dispensing. Now the last comment that I have for this dispenser is the rate of how fast the water dispenses. Now this can be a bit annoying for some people as the water comes out pretty slowly, definitely slower than pouring from a large jug of water. But then again, you are saving electricity by just heating up the water that you need rather than boiling a full kettle of water. So with that, I hope this video has been informative for you guys. If you guys want to know more, do visit the Stera website if you want to purchase this. You can also visit the OVO website for more technical information and FAQs. But with that, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Like this video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.